Today is a great, wonderful, amazing, incredible day because it's a Germany day. American was surprised by 20 German words Americans use all of the time. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Let's go. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's not true. It's a lovely sound when you... <laughs> oh, yeah, when you... <laughs> Is it true? I've never heard an American say it. Do you really say it? Oh. Like, oh, that, that's... Hello! Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We do have... Yeah, hamburger. Um. <laughs> do you know what's funny because literally the last video that I did I was literally talking about it was the swear words German swear words and I was literally talking about the fact that we understand you we understand all your swear words so don't swear at us when you come to our country and um, this seems like there's more words not swear words but more words that sound well are the same in um, England and America English speaking countries and exactly the same as German so yeah because when you speak Swiss English German English mm. so we use I think a lot of words that are common in our society today mm. from America that's true in the US too doppelganger and oh yeah wow. true Gesundheit. oh right yeah yeah Kindergarten. Yeah, that is one uh, word German that is word. common in both languages is kindergarten. Yeah. How do you pronounce it? What's the difference between it? So in the US we say kindergarten. And in Germany we say Ruhestörung. <laughs> oh. No, no uh, it's not true. In, in Germany we say kindergarten. <laughs> oh, okay. Kindergarten. You're trying to trick me? All right. Mm. Similar but a little different. Kindergarten. Interest interestingly enough, we don't use the word in English, in uh, British English. We don't use kindergarten um, much. Um, we understand what it means, clearly. Americans use it all the time. We don't actually use it. So that's something you actually have in common with America, not Britain. We would use nursery um, to refer to kindergarten. Or, um, yeah, nursery. Nursery, we'd, we'd say nursery. Kindergarten is when kids go to school, but quite a young age. So this is before first grade. Mm. It's the same. I think everywhere in the world, or almost everywhere in the world, you use this term. I guess. It not in Britain. Not in Britain. We use the term nursery or nursery school. It originally came from German, maybe. You say like garden, but you write it with T, but you yeah. still say D. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just like the American <laughs> accent. Mm -hmm. mm. Actually, I didn't know that. But if I looked at it, it looks like a German word. But I think maybe a lot of Americans don't know that it's from Germany. Germany. So What's the that? next word is Gesundheit. <coughs> Gesundheit. Oh, thank you very much. Gesundheit. Thank you. How do you use it and how do you pronounce it in your languages? I think Gesundheit. 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 I don't say it often, but I think that's how. Oh my God. <laughs> um, guys, I've never heard this word ever in my life. Gesundheit. We don't use that in England at all. But they use that in America? What does it mean? Oh my God. It's like, it's like the jerk. Germans and Americans, you guys speak the same language. I, I don't know what Gesundheit means. Oh, we would say it. How, when do you use it? Sneezing. Oh, same, like, when someone sneezes, mm -hmm. you wish them, like, blessing. Yeah. Um, healthiness, because Gesundheit wow. means healthiness. In German, we use it for blessing. Mm -hmm. Gesundheit, uh, Gesundheit. What's this? <laughs> it's beer. Oh. <laughs> How do Americans use that word and not realize it's German? It's so German. It's not English at all. I, we don't use that in England. If you sneeze, we say bless you. Or, yeah, bless you. We don't say Gesundheit. <laughs> Gesundheit. We use it. Oh, really? For cheering. Oh, really? Yeah, like cheers. The cheers. Oh, we say oh. Gesundheit. I've heard many okay. American friends use it. A pretty impeccable pronunciation of what say. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> So the next word Kaput. is kaput. Have you used it? 
in English and how do you pronounce it? In uh, the US, kaput. Like, kaput, 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 kaput. kaput. It's a fun word to say actually. What does yeah. it mean in yeah. English? It mean like broken. Same in German. Just Something is broken. Yeah. Kaput. Mm. kaput, kaput. It's done. It's kaput. done. Funny thing again, uh, we know what it means in Britain, but it's not a word that's used in Britain. I actually didn't know it was German. I thought it was American. So, wow. Americans and Germans, you guys have a lot in common in a, in a lot of words. We don't use that word in Britain very often. Fun to say. If ever. Yeah, I've, I've definitely heard it in the US. It makes sense in a situation. It's easier to just, to just say one word. It's done, it's over with, kaput. <laughs> I'm really surprised at this. I never heard it in America. So for me, it's like, you know this? <laughs> yeah. You use this? And I think maybe not every um, American would know it's German. Doppelganger. We do use we do use this word, a doppelganger, someone who's like the spitting image of somebody. But we don't use it often. But yeah, we use it. <laughs> it's a word that's used. So the next word that we have is doppelganger. What does it mean in your language and how do you pronounce it? Doppelganger, really different pronunciation, but it just means like two of the same, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Doppelganger, pretty similar. Pretty the same. It also yeah, means the same in German. Or it does, yeah. Stein. So the next word that we have is Stein, beer glass. Do you know this word and how do you pronounce it? Yeah, I think we would say just Stein, Stein, Stein glass. It's like Stein glass, Stein glass, Stein glass. No, we don't use the word Stein. Maybe I'm, I don't know. I hope if there's any Brits that are watching my video, do we use Stein glass? I don't think we use Stein glass. I've heard of a stained glass window, but not a Stein glass for beer. We just use a, a, a say beer glass or pint glass we'd, we'd call it a pint glass we wouldn't call it a stein glass it's like the type of glass that beer can come in i don't drink beer so i don't hear it often but i think <laughs> i have heard it before maybe like in a bar never heard stein stein i think it's a more common thing that americans took but i don't think it's like common in our area oh okay so maybe just in the u.s yeah maybe yeah. so the word Stein means stone, so it could be that it's a really okay. strong glass stone out of glass. stone. It, Cannot break it. It is heavy, mm, right? It's heavy. So it's kind of like a stone. Yeah, yeah. It's a lovely okay. sound when you. <laughs> oh yeah, when you. <laughs> Spiel. So the next one is Spiel. Yeah. Do you use the word or the term? Spiel? I've definitely heard it before. I think it's not commonly used, but maybe every now and then it can be used in the I US. And for it Germany, it would be game. You use this word. Oh, we do. Yeah. I guess the English term nowadays is quite common too among the newer generation. Yeah, more common than mm. Spiel. So we yeah, Spiel is not used in the UK or I haven't heard it. We use game more, like Game Boy, playing games. Okay, yeah, okay. we use it like that. Stool. We do use this word. We do use this word. Stool means a stool as in like a little chair that you sit on, you perch on. Um, and we also use the word stool to mean um, theses. <laughs> Two meanings. But yeah, we use this meaning as well. So the next word we're going to talk about is stool or hooker or chair yeah definitely stool is a type of chair that's just what we call it yeah i feel like there's no other name we call it we call it a stool it's a certain type of chair is it the one that you use in bars yeah so you'll see a lot of stools in bars we call it hawker do you use the hawker. term hawker i don't think so not that I know of. So you use the term stool for this bar hooker, like the, the bar chairs. Mm. And we use okay. the word stool yeah. for a normal chair. Uh, Typically, yeah. So this will be called stool. stool. Mm -hmm. We have a different, I think, meaning. Yeah, it's a yeah. certain type of chair yeah. that we call a stool. Yeah. yeah, and we call every chair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you know that the word is actually from Germany. I actually did not know this. So this is new I, news to me. I didn't know this until she said stool. And I was like, oh yeah, sounds German to me. 
but also we use like the Americans just to refer to a certain type of chair. It's pretty interesting. That's, yeah, so that's the how, next word we're going to talk about is the Dachshund, and that's a kind of breed of a dog. It means a dog that is really small and has small legs like a badger. That's why we call it badger dog, but the original term is Dachshund. How do you pronounce it and have you heard it? It's similar. Dachshund. But you have more of like a Dachs. Dachshund. Yeah, yeah. So it's a little bit different, but yeah, we say it kind of similar. Mm. So you also say Dachshund. We also have a different term for this dog. A wiener dog. Maybe oh, you know dog. it now. A wiener dog. Yeah, yeah. I've heard of wiener dogs. Wiener dog. Really? Yeah, this, this small, long dogs that kind of look like a hot dog. <laughs> yeah, we say wiener dogs too. Dachshund, yeah. Wiener, I don't know. Never heard it before. At least not in that context. <laughs> Wanderlust. The next word we're going to talk about. Oh, Wanderlust. I'm guessing how you guys say it. I don't know what that means, but I've heard it before. We don't say this in England, but I've heard it before. Wanderlust. Wanderlust. Mm. Have you heard it? And yeah. how do you pronounce it? Instead of saying V, we say the w Wanderlust. What does it Wanderlust. mean in English? The pleasure of hiking. Yeah, it's like one happiness in kind of wandering. Yeah, yeah. in nature, wandering, nature. walking around. Strolling around. around. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we have the I same like term. You. It's come from the term wander. It means walking around and lust is lust. So actually the words are two different languages, but they have the same meaning and the same writing. I could really imagine that this term was coined during the Romanticist era, in yeah. 19th century, probably, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. That would make sense. Angst. The oh. next word. I just said that word and I was like, oh my god, that sounds really German. But when you say it, you don't think it's German. <laughs> you just, angst. But then I'm saying it, I'm like, oh my god, of course, angst. Sounds German as hell. <laughs> God, like, uh, English is very German. Yeah. Anyways. We what do we're going to talk about is angst. Mm. Have you heard of it? Angst? Like anger? Oh, no. <laughs> the, Amer the Americans say it very American, but the British say it very German. Oh, that's not no. true. We have a different meaning. Is it really? No, it's the same in American. Same like the... No, being afraid. Like it's a very psychological term. Yeah, being afraid. Ah, angst, angst. I, I always thought in American English you use it the same as in... It's more than just being afraid or scared. It's a very uh, existential... Anxious. Mm. Being anxious. Anxious. Mm. Unhappy. Yeah. Worried. But in German it's like really strong. It's like anxiety. It's like when you're in a ghost house and you can't breathe and you're like, I have so much angst. angst. Yeah, it's used in the US too, but mm, not, not common. too, too common. Natural conversation, maybe we would say, oh, I'm really anxious. Yeah. Or I'm worried. Never heard this one before. Kisht, kisht, kitsch, don't know. So the next word is kitsch. So what is, what is this? Kitsch. Mm. If I'm not mistaken, Never people who have a lot of stuff, but stuff that other people might consider unnecessary, decorative, mm. um, ugly. Weird <laughs> dolls okay. or just things that Unsightly. are not necessary. Yeah, that yeah. is our kitsch. Is it true? <laughs> I've never heard an American say it. Do you really say it? How do you say it? It's like kitsch. Same meaning. Mm. So the next. Shadam Freud? Freud? Shake Shadam Freud? I don't know. This word we have is Schadenfreude. Do you know this word? Friday. I don't. <laughs> you don't? You never heard of it? Yeah. German I was going to say, this cannot be an American word. Look how long it is. Americans don't like saying words this long. This can't be true. This cannot be a word that Americans use. Love it. it means you're happy when someone else is in pain or when someone oh. else is doing bad in something. Like you're well, happy for their mistakes. Not you know necessarily I mean? in pain, but like when somebody else just messes up, you know, yeah. like nothing too bad, you know, <laughs> something more like superficial and you're like, <laughs> Oh, got it. So maybe if you didn't like that person yeah. and then it's kind of like karma, little, yeah. they messed up in something and then you're like, well, mm. no, okay. actually it's not, it's not like karma because karma is when someone is getting something back. But schadenfreude is pure evil. 
For example, I don't like you and now you're falling off the stairs. I'm gonna laugh. Oh. Like, oh, that, that's... I, I, I don't think we usually use it in these extreme cases. Like, very small, superficial uh, misfortunes. Yeah. When you trip but you don't fall, you know, like, like nothing too bad. Okay, <laughs> or like, we... Germany, you guys are evil. You have words for this? You have words for laughing at someone's misfortune? In class together, we're writing tests. Mm. I don't really like you, and you do like a back grade, and I'm like, yeah. I did a good grade. I'm like, <laughs> uh, and, uh, got it. Of course, a German had to come up with it, you know? <laughs> That's what I it just It is kind of nice having these words that mean something like that, because I feel like you would have to make a whole sentence to explain it in English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think this term is used in some places in the USA, but I don't, mm. I think yeah. more in like I've the German influenced areas in the USA. Probably. I didn't really hear this growing Never. up, but I'm sure maybe other states or other areas, maybe Midwest. they use this. Yeah, Midwest, oh, yeah, maybe. maybe. Foosball. So the next... Foos foosball, foosball. Next word we're gonna use foosball. is foosball. Foosball, oh, yeah, foosball play, table. Play. Yeah, foosball. Wow, yeah. it's been a while since I used that. Yeah, and for us, it's like the big soccer. Let's go play tonight. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so how do you call foosball like the table in German? Uh, I think we have different terms in Swiss and in German. We call it the Kelle because of the sounds. Tuck, 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 tuck. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. But you can also say Tischfußball. I think Tischfußball. Yeah. Tischfußball. Mm. Tischfußball. Table football. Table football. Do you call football, football, football then? That's what you call football. Let me know. I think that's what she said. Football. Oh, that makes sense. Zeitgeist. I have heard this term. Zeitgeist. Zeitgeist I've heard before. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but I've heard of it. Oh, it's a good one. Zeitgeist. Zeitgeist. That's a lovely word. Mm, did you hear it? I don't think so. I've heard like of it, but every, I don't know what it is. Every era in time in history has a very different mentality and spirit mm. and traditions. So that's basically what it indicates, you know? Spirit yeah. of the era, yeah, spirit of time. Oh. Why has he got such a deep voice? I can't get over this guy's voice. It's just, it's, 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 um, I feel like it's his natural voice as well. It's like, Really interesting. Wow. But we that, like guys? to use it. I didn't know actually. that. Actually, we, we like to use it a lot because we focus a lot of history because our countries, all of them in Europe, obviously have a lot of history, history. and we love to go back and talk about it and mm. talk about these different zeitgeist and periods. But I heard it in such... movies. Yeah, I feel like maybe like in movies, not it's not commonly used. Yeah, it's a, it's a fancy word in America. Yeah. Mm. You'll, you'll yeah. find in academia in yeah. movies, books. probably books. Mm, yeah. But it's a beautiful word. It yeah. is. Mm. Zeit means time. Geist as in the mind, the mind, oh, the soul. Ah, yeah. like, oh, the mind of the time. Schnapps. makes sense the way it's spelled it makes a lot of sense it's a german word yes we use schnapps but schnapps is a type of alcohol or like a type of drink be interesting to know what it means i just i know the word though okay so we talk about schnapps about mm. drinking <laughs> yeah so schnapps what does it mean in your language it's like a type of alcohol usually yeah. like fruit Base, like fruit brandy. Snaps, we have the same thing in German. We do. We do, we use it. So it's a type of alcohol? Yes, same like, mm -hmm. like uh, fruit based that okay. we mostly use after having a dinner to digest. Yeah. Oh. Is that when you usually drink? Uh, so my grandma used schnapps for everything. Uh. Like when you're sick, uh, when your throat hurts, you have to take this schnapps. When uh. your head hurts, you have to take this schnapps. It my grandma did the same thing. My grandma did the same thing. She used to always, yeah, yeah, have <laughs> schnapps. Like, drink this. If you've got a sore throat, if you've got a cold, have some of this. A little bit of brandy, a little bit of schnapps. Um, funnily enough as well, that, gra that grandma that did that, her great great grandma was German, German Jewish. So maybe it was passed down onto her. So maybe, maybe, maybe that's where she got it from. 
It's also a little bit of a medical term. Yeah, oh, okay. we also use it. Who needs medicine? If you medicine. Know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Medicine. true. Okay. And we used to it. We're not alcoholics in Europe, but we <laughs> use it since we're like kids, like just a little bit with sugar. Yeah, in the US, that yeah, that's not common. Yeah, so it's interesting to use it as medicine. I haven't heard of that before. Mm. Yeah. Wunderkind. Um, wunderkind. 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 I don't know. Something to do with a child. I know what, but I don't know what it means. Wunderkind. Heard of it. A miracle child. Do you use the ah. term wunderkind or miracle child? I think miracle child is just for translation they're using. I've never heard that term before. You always say wunderkind. Mm. Wunderkind. Mm. Yeah, I think I've heard of it. Or you call it gifted. Gifted, gifted maybe. Yeah. Gifted is a bit a more common. Child. I think it's again a term that is used in movies mm. to explain something in a higher language. Yeah, yeah, I think so. To make it more poetic. Right, right. Mm. It's definitely kind of poetic. Yeah, or, uh, yeah or, or child prodigy. That, that's what they would say, a prodigy in America. That's what they would say. Yeah, it is, it is. Poltergeist. Oh my god, the Poltergeist. Geist. Poltergeist. The, that's course, that's a German, a German word, a German word. Yeah, we, we all, in the English speaking world, we all know what that means. <laughs> the next word is poltergeist. It's also a movie about this, like famous, famous movie, poltergeist. Oh. Now we're actually using guys not in the meaning as of a spirit, but as a ghost. Oh. It's a, a ghost that haunts you, mm -hmm. that is making noises. Poltern is a noise. Yeah. Oh, polter it's means a... like rumble, rumble. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for the explanation. <laughs> that, that's a good movie name though. Schmutz. Schmutz. Oh, schmutz, I know. It's like dirt and icky. Oh, yeah. True. Schmutz. I think it's used quite commonly in the US. Dirt or. We don't use it in England at all. Schmutz. No. Might have heard it in an American movie before, but no, we don't use it. Dust or something. Sounds like a last yeah. name. Actually, it does. <laughs> yeah. Schmutz. Christina Schmutz. <laughs> I would hope that's not someone's last name. Okay. <laughs> Schmutz. Did you know Schmutz? that it's German? Well, the thing is, I, I didn't know, but now that I hear the word, hear it's the word, very yeah. clearly German. It makes sense. Yeah, so it makes yeah. sense. I knew about it before, yet it's still fascinating to see how much languages travel around and mix and mm. intertwine. Fascinating to think about. So, how was it for you guys? There are actually words that are used in German and in English. It's pretty interesting. And there's a lot like, more than these There are these some words, words sure. that I didn't know came from the German language. I would love to see a version of this with a British, with 20 German words that are used in British English. There's probably a lot more than 20, to be fair. Language, like stool, I guess. Um, so that was pretty pretty new to me. Actually, everyone in the world can understand each other. <laughs> if we so mix it more and more and more and more. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, oh he's not okay oh. with that. Slowly, yeah. Slowly I mixing think languages. Languages are getting a bit more mixed. Cultures, yeah. languages are something beautiful. We should preserve mm. it. But we can also all speak English, that's fine. We should preserve language. You can tell it's very cultural though. <laughs> Other languages are nice, you know, in the country. It was interesting to see how Americans uh, use German words in day-to-day -day life. So today we talked about... Is he even real? He, he looks like he's straight out of a Van Helsing movie, I don't know. ...about some German words that we use in English. If you liked the video, please like, comment. I did like the video and I liked those 20 words. I need to see a British version. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Have an awesome day, evening, night whatever you're doing. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.